on YouTube. Welcome back to the show. I am your host, the DOR, and today we are going to answer the question whether being a mom is the, is the most difficult job in the world, right? And this is not a slight to all the hardworking moms out there. Respect to all of the hardworking moms. And, you know, you guys are doing a good job and, and keep it up, right? But the question still remains. It is, is being a mother the most difficult job in the world? All right, let, let, let's, let's play the clip, all right? Let's play this clip right here. She's a teacher, she's a nurse, she's a party planner, a stylist, a taxi driver, a psychiatrist. She's a secretary, she's a chef, she's a photographer, she's a personal shopper, and she's a housekeeper. Yeah. Those are just a few of the jobs of a mother. So how dare any man come home, walk around like he's the leader and everyone should do what he says just because some company with a fancy logo puts your name on the check and gives it to you. Thank you for working. Thank you for providing. But that doesn't make you the king. Show her love. Show her respect. Show her respect, guys. The woman deserves the respect. She is pushing herself to be the best she can be on so many different levels while being underpaid, while being underappreciated. She loves you. And she's not asking for much in return. She just wants you to see her and appreciate everything she does. Mm. It's still not uncommon mm. to hear the phrase, that's a man's job. And mm. I want to hear your thoughts on that particular phrase. So remember, just oppose their views. It's super simple. Okay. Uh, there are men's jobs and there are women's jobs. I mean, I think we, we all... I agree. I mean, we're not saying that that doesn't exist, right? I mean, you're not... We are kind, we are kind of saying that. <laughs> 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 but it's just like if you pull up to a, a garage and you got to get like an alternator replaced and there's a woman mechanic, the majority of men and women are going to look at that and be like, hey, man, I'm all for, you know, women's rights. I mean, who isn't? But I also want my car to run well. Facts. Hey, right, listen, um, the strength of a woman compared to the strength of a, of a man is completely different. Right. If I if I want a, a plumber to come to my house and install some gas lines and they sent me a woman to install the gas line in my house, I would send her back. Not because I'm sexist or I'm discriminating. It's just because I need those gas lines to be super tight. Right. I need that thing not to leak from any of the joints. So if you send me a woman to, to install gas lines in my house, I will send her back. It's not because I'm, I'm, I'm discriminating. It's just common sense. You can feel it. You can feel it. I can't take it. I want to say this to the men so y'all can better understand what's really going on with us women. We are mm. mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually exhausted in mm. motherhood. Okay. The domestic labor falls on us, and we know that society goes by traditional roles, so a lot of the household deeds fall on the women. But for us, to, we constantly have to be attentive to what our children need when they're sick, when they look like they're about to become sick, their education, their emotional well-being, them learning, their coping skills. This is all of everything that we are paying attention to. On top of loving our children, we're trying to find spaces to be able to love ourselves. On top of trying to create safety for our children, we're looking for safety and security within ourselves. And sometimes because of all of the expectations and obligations and burdens and the load on us, we can't find that safety. So we turn to our partner and sometimes in our partner because they resent us so much for the transitions that we have faced in our motherhood we can't find safety with them as well so you have to be able to extend some type of grace and that's what we mean when we say we want to be seen we want to be heard we want to be understood we want to be validated we need you all because we understand that mentally psychologically men and women are not the same we understand right. that but as a partner we need you to try to step into our shoes see it through our eyes hear it through our ears feel it through our heart so you can better understand where we are coming from I, I I mean she she spoke facts, right? Um, I have I, I think you know a lot of the times you have women that are complaining about motherhood, 
And it's not necessarily because being a mother is such a difficult job. I'm not saying it isn't, right? But it's not so much that it's it's a it's it's such a difficult job. It's more to the fact that these women aren't cut out to be mothers to start with. You know what I mean? Like these these women, they just pre plain pretend mothers. So of course, any of the motherly role is going to be tough for that woman to deal with. It's going to be tough for her to handle because she's not meant to be there. She hasn't even learned the basics of what it means to be a mother. Like a lot of modern women lack the motherly instincts, right? If a wo modern woman is on, always concerned about her selfish desires and needs and wants, she has no time to put the family first. And that could be part of the problem of what's going on, why it is such a difficult task for these modern women to, to be mothers. You know what I mean? Let's keep going. Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet. <laughs> How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? None. <laughs> Not moms one. moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but what would you rather have as a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? Yeah, You'd that sounds easier. You'd send them to easier. bed anytime you want and some trumped up charges. Because <laughs> you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, Ooh. you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. Hey, I, I, I did roofing uh, for three months. That's, that was all I could take. Man, it's a, it's a tough job. You have the, the, the slope or the pitch, and sometimes it goes ridiculous, right? And you're trying to walk on, on, on the roof. And some of these roofers, like the ones that have no care whatsoever in this world, right? They would do a whole roof without tying down to the roof. So if they, if they fell, they fallen all the way off the roof. But a lot of those guys that I, I seen, they didn't even, there was no security. <laughs> they just climbed up on the roof, got the shingles and started working. And I worked with a few of those guys and I, I, I thought to myself, nah, this, <laughs> this is not for me, right? And I quit and I, I found something else I was going to do. But, you know, being a mother, it, 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 it takes a, a certain type of woman to be a mother, right? Not just any woman can jump in and, and play pretend to be a mother. It takes a certain type of woman. And all the mothers that are doing their jobs, taking care of the family, doing their, their, their motherly duties alongside with their husband, like kudos to you guys you guys are doing wonderful amazing jobs right and as hu as husbands I, I think we have to also assist in doing some little things around the house to help her out right especially in these days where women have to go out and and also work to take care of the family to to bring a second income you know it only makes sense that everyone chips in and, and does their part right but <laughs> yeah None of these women died doing those types of jobs that Bill Burr was just talking about, right? If you, if you ask, if you did a survey to the most women these days, a lot of them would rather stay at home and take care of the kid instead of go to work. Try it. Ask your, ask your, your friends. They rather want to stay home and not go to work. But evidently... Evidently, these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather carry five babies than do this. If I was a woman. <laughs> yeah, can you, can you imagine doing this for eight hours, 12 hours in a, in a day? 12 hours in a day doing this look at the skill level that it took it takes for this man to do this
for yeah. a ticket. Oh, oh, you think that car you got yeah. really runs on air? I know you hate us and you probably... Yeah, I doubt you see a lot of women trying to do this job. You They'll pick the baby Just over like this. You got a family to feed and the bills keep coming too. Yeah. That looks like a tough job. I wanna see I wanna see women do that job for like five hours out of the day. Don't even do a full eight hour shift. It's five hours. And see if you can make it. Like you are a mother. Yeah. I'm a, a whole You mother. can't say that. I'm I a can. new mom, so I still be like, ooh, tiptoeing. Mm -mm. I won't say that I dislike motherhood because I'm not true to this. I'm new to this. What do you mean by that, though, Alicia? Tell the people. I'm not tiptoeing on the marble floors. I mm. don't like motherhood. What don't mm. you like about it? I don't like the pressure. I don't like the responsibility. I don't mm -hmm. like that I am a driver because these tiny humans <laughs> can't drive. Why is Whoa. breastfeeding so hard? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> she just said these hyenas can't drive. She's talking about her kids. She doesn't want to drive them anywhere. But... <sighs> If if women if women some of these women don't like being mothers if being a mother is such a difficult job why is it that women have more pets than men right I think I think the stats is like almost seventy thirty to or sixty forty to in favor of women when it comes to having pets in the house. A pet is like a, a forever baby, right? A, a pet is something that never really matures enough to take care of themselves. They never poop and clean the poop, right? You got to you gotta keep an eye on them. Whenever they poop, you got to pick it up. So it's like this training or, or, or trying to take care of an of a animal, it, it never, it, you, they never graduate from it. I, for me, I think having a pet is worse than having a baby. Worse than having a baby. Because having a baby, at some point, they become independent. They can do their own thing. Right? So if, if, if women find it so hard to be mothers, why do they have so many pets? I don't know. Someone can answer that. Because <laughs> I don't know. And it's supposed to be this natural thing. I think there's a couple things. Expectations mm -hmm. in terms of really understanding in the first few weeks to months just how much you're going to be breastfeeding. You feel like a cow. That's all you do. Wow. It's every two to three hours, round the mm. clock, that baby's on the breast. So it's a lot. And for some people, it works. And for other people, it doesn't work. And yeah. that's okay. I think another thing, too, is culturally now, we don't support breastfeeding we support it and say that you should do it but we don't want to what you mean i don't want to see you do it in public like if you're in public maybe find a place that's secluded and do it there i don't need you to whip out your boobs and <laughs> in public and feed your baby like i've seen women feed their babies go to africa see how they do it there like you'll you'll be sitting next to a woman feeding her baby and nobody is like, oh, because she's going to cover herself while she's doing that. Right. So I don't know what this woman is talking about, about, you know, the society don't want you to feed your baby in public. It depends on how you do it. Right. It, it, it depends solely on how you do it. If you do it with, with dignity and respect, I'm pretty sure nobody would complain about it see women breastfeeding in public but hold up <laughs> also women will complain about anything everything is difficult for a woman right if you now she's complaining the, the previous one complained about being a mother this one's complaining about breastfeeding like what else <laughs> I, you guys complain so much. We don't want to give them the appropriate breaks during the workday to go and pump. And for so many women, the very first time that they ever see a baby feeding at the breast is when they do it themselves. So how are you supposed to know how to do this if you've never even seen a baby breastfeeding? You don't know what a latch is supposed to look like. It's it's natural, but it's not intuitive. And if it doesn't work... Yeah, you have mothers. You have don't you have mothers that can talk that can tell you what to do, teach you how to do it? 
even at the hospital when you have kids when you have babies they teach you how to do it so that, that is not an excuse to say well they've never seen it happen before and now they don't know how to do it like they teach you that at the hospital it doesn't, it work. doesn't work yeah the, there's certainly benefits to breast milk but they sure as hell don't outweigh the benefits of a happy mom that's engaged with her baby and able to bond and is not dreading every time their baby needs to eat. I mean, I've breastfed my babies. I have plenty of friends that have formula fed their babies. I'm no more bonded to my children than they are to theirs. And my children are no healthier than their children. Exactly. They're all eating gross French fries off the floors of our minivans <laughs> now. So The majority of mothers yeah. around the globe have a job and they have to raise their kids, right. like a, right. a real job. So the right. ones that only do the mothering that say that's their full-time job that is privilege that is a gift that is a right. absolute luxury Talk that you can them. do that right it Absolutely. really is to be able to say oh, my full-time job is staying at home and taking care of my children for Talk people that are working all. a couple of jobs they're looking at that woman going bitch you don't know what having a full-time <laughs> job Absolutely. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to say those words but <laughs> But that's facts, right? A lot of the ones that are complaining the most are sitting at home playing with the kids while they're watching TV, right? They, they, you, you're at home. It's not like you all day around the clock, you're constantly taking care of this baby. That's not how it works. I've baby, I've had to babysit, babysit my, my kids, right? I've had to do that. It, it doesn't it doesn't demand as much as women are saying it requires i know for a fact it doesn't because i've done it right like taking care of your kids it's it's your duty it's something that you should be doing with pride you should be doing because it you can see the end go end end result right this is something that i'm doing to enrich that baby's life that I brought into this world. I want the best for them, right? This is not something you're doing begrudgingly and then you start complaining about doing, taking care of, a, of, of your child. You don't see even pets, dogs don't do that. They don't complain. They take pride in it, right? And you dare not go near their kids because they'll protect that kid with everything they got. How dare some of these women complain? Let's keep going. It takes a lot to get back to that woman that you were before you became a mom that completely breaks you and changes you and you have to rebuild yourself to get back up there. So you have to have a partner that's going to pour into you and be there for you through that. And what's the, the killer part is y'all be acting like we not a whole new because of some we did with y'all. Like we, did, we didn't just sit here and make this baby on our own. We made this baby together intentionally or unintentionally. The baby was made. Mm. So like you talking about oh well you, you, you act different or you do this I pushed a baby out my Thanks. or got a baby cut up out of me. You know how traumatizing that is? You know how yeah, traumatizing I, I it is for a woman to go through giving birth for real? Yo, I literally was in a hospital for a week. I was in a hospital for a week. My baby came and he had to stay in the hospital for an additional 24 fucking days in NICU. And be like, oh, have another one. You have another one. <laughs> And I watched that. I paid attention to that. So you ain't I'm, send him no gifts. So fuck off. <laughs> so hey, she said something that was interesting to me. She says that you know how being a mother changes you or changes a woman, and she's trying to be herself while trying to or be the the self the person that she was before while trying to be a mother to to her kids or, or play a new role right i think that's where the conflict is why are you trying to be the person you were before be the new person right i think that that is a major major factor in why why uh having a baby being a mother is such a difficult thing for the difficult thing for the modern women right because you're trying to hold on to who you were before. Like for me as a father, like there are places, there are friends that I will not go near, right? Just because I'm I'm a father. I know that I, I'm not the same person that I was before. 
So I'm not trying to play that role. I'm not trying to be that person. And I don't care if you, people look at me and laugh and say, hey, you're acting different now that you had your kids. In fact, that is something I take pride in because it means I'm mature and I'm playing a different role. I'm in a different journey now, right? I, can, I can't just be fighting with myself trying to be the, the old person. What, go, I want to go to clubs? <laughs> I want to go to parties and stuff no i got i got different things to do now so i think that that's a major conflict where when these women uh complain is because they they're holding on to the past who they were before they want to dress in a skimpy clothes the way they used to dress before nah you're you, you got a whole child at home you got to dress responsibly right modestly let's keep going when you give birth to a child uh -huh. When a human being is coming out of your body, everything changes. Everything Priorities. Changes. What matters, you learn to go to the core of things. Facts. Facts. Those are facts. Everything changes, right? And you have to find meaning in the new role of being a mother, right? Stop trying to hold on to, to who you were before accept the role of being a mother and play that role with pride right then it won't be so hard it won't be so difficult for for a lot of women and i understand i understand it is it's challenging right but i think like you know when you when you look at the way men and women raise kids like i think men we have a little bit of impatience when it comes to to dealing with the kids we don't want to repeat ourselves right but the woman wants to be involved in every aspect of what the kid is doing, right? Like a helicopter, you know, just hovering over what the kid is doing, telling them, do this, do that, do this. While the father doesn't really do that. The father just kind of sits in the distance and say, and watches the kid. If the kid can handle that activity or task, the father just backs off and lets the kid do it, right? But the mother wants to be involved so much. And, and I mean, it's different parenting styles. It's why we have a mother, we have a father, right? It's supposed to create a balance at, at, in the end. But I think my point there was that sometimes it, it feels like women are making parenting more difficult for themselves by trying to be so involved with everything. You know what I mean? Anyways, y'all, let me know what you guys think about this topic right here. Did I get anything wrong? Let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy and peace out.